Hey guys, how's it going on? Welcome back to the channel. So today in this video, we are going to make a project using weather API, which is open weather map. So let me show you an overview of this project. First of all, so we have a search version. We have this input and here if I search for some city, let me search for Delhi and I will show you that the data comes up like this. So we have location, coordinates, weather with an image also and temperature, visibility and wind speed, all these things. And we can even search for all cities in this world. So if I show you London, it's London now. London, GB, Great Britain and all these data. So now let me show you its responsiveness. So if I open a mobile view by using the inspect element, and if I go here and then you can see this responsive so that's how it's responsive it's cool even if you make it small it's gonna look amazing and completely responsive and if I search something in the mobile view I can just go here and London if I click enter then also it's gonna load everything or else if I click on the search button then also it's gonna load everything so this time let me click on the search button and that's it in mobile view what happens is when you click on this input element uh, the keyboard comes up right so that's why it should be responsive even when the screen is too small so that's why uh, I showed you this also so that you may understand about that so now let's start working with the project so first of all let me close everything and open my console and close this great now First of all, let's have an overlook on the API I am using. So it's open weather map. The link will be provided in the description. So you can just have a look up here. So if I search only open weather map and wait a minute, open weather map, that's it. So here you can see this one. Okay, this one, this link where it's open weather map dot org. Just open it then you have something like this okay let me block okay that's it and you have to go to this API section and here you can subscribe to this this one is completely free which is current weather data but remember you can't upload your projects with Netlify or something because it takes the data which comes with HTTPS but the data which will be provided to you from this current weather data will be free so it would not be would not be having an SSL certificate that's it but if you buy something premium from here bulk downloading etc you are gonna HTTPS but we are using this current weather data for this video just make sure that you subscribe it and log create your own account or login if you already have an account and if I click on subscribe I have some pricings you see it's free and I have an API key and everything already so if I go to my API and if I go to my API keys, I have my key right here. Don't use mine. It will not be working forever. So I will be disabling it later on. So let's have uh, the look on the code. So let me first of all open my VS code. Let me close this tab and we will be making a new one. Or let it be like that. So I'll go to my VS code. And this is the source code file. So just close it. And here. I'll be creating three files which would be index.html and then we will be having uh, script.js script.js and then we will be having a style.scss because I'm going to use scss here so it will be style.scss so with this project you will also be able to grab up scss and how it actually works that is sas right so you may be knowing that so first of all let me just enter the boiler template and that's it now let me just uh, open it with live server so that it's open and here it is then let me just make it small okay cool okay now that's it now that's great right so first of all let me just change this which would be research research before move and the r should be capital which makes it a little beautiful for us and after this in this body we have some elements i will tell you everything in detail don't worry but first of all let's link the css and javascript so i will be scripting the source here which would be dot slash script dot js and I will, i'm gonna save it and then here i will just link my css 
and okay that's great but currently it will not be coming up uh, we have to click on bot sass and open this style.css and it will create some css files for us and it will just maintain it but we will do everything such kind of that later on but first of all what we actually gonna do is let me show you so first of all let's say log to check whether it's working or not working okay and if i open up my console so it's working right I refuse to apply style because so some errors are there let me clear the console just ignore them it may be because of this the style yeah i know okay great now i removed it it is gone now the it is already functioning so what we are going to do first of all we need to make an ajax call an xml http request right so what we are actually going to do is we're going to create a function function called get data okay and in this get data we are getting uh let's say we have a location and i say it loc the this will be the location from where we we want to get the data from so just comment it for now we will get on to it later on so let's create let's create a url so in this one i will paste my url so i'll be having it with one of my files so let me just open it so wait a minute and here i will be having my url let me just show that to you and it's along with my api key i mean yes so let me just use backticks because i will be using uh, like this i will be using variables so i'm using backticks here okay that would be much nice if you are using backticks and if it, it would be much more awesome if you are adding api key the same way but i don't that's some it takes some time and i'm too lazy to do that so i'm not doing it so so what we're gonna do is this is our api key first of all let me make it some normal because we can add this loc later on so let me make it some normal location so it will be london but in this api what happens actually is it should be l capital the first letter of the location name should be capital so let me show you the link and how the data is coming to us so i'll copy it and paste it somewhere up here and you see here it giving not secure because it is not https as i said you before and why the data is coming like this it's because of an extension i downloaded on my browser you can type js json prettier on the google chrome extensions or web store and you can just install it and it will automatically do this the path the raw data will be something like this and on parsing it will be something like this and i am getting all the data from here what i actually need to do is create some html elements and push this data into it so that's what i have to do totally so just let me show you something what we have to do next to get the data from here so let me just show that to you let me just do something okay good and what we actually need to do is we need to create an xml http request so i'll create a const with variable xhr equals new xml http request you see it here yeah that's it and then i made the xml http request now i need to create a get request from it so what i will do xhr dot open dot open and i want a get request not a post okay so get means i'm getting data and if i uh, change it with post what is going to be here we we are posting data that what it means and then we just need to add the url up here so url and here's our url then just make it true so that we have no errors good and then as we are getting the data we have we have to send a response also right so i'll say xhr dot send and we are sending back our response back again and later on what we have to do we need to get the data right so the function which we have to define in between them is gonna be here is gonna be here right exactly so what we are gonna do is xhr.onload and what does this states whenever the loading of the complete data is done then run this function that's what we are saying here so this onload is equals to a function with exactly no parameters good and we have to specify an if condition here 
we will say if this dot status if the status of the data is 200 uh, is 200 that is okay it's okay or you can even specify ready state change which should be 4 to get the data and all these things anyway it's your choice you can just take a look on the api docs which i have given the link in the description so you can have a look on it then what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a let's say let json equals this dot response text we're getting the, this dot response text from here and after this what i'm going to do is we will say that json equals this json dot parse i'm sorry for this json capital one dot parse and what we actually need to parse is we need to pass the smaller json so that's it so what happens here we get the response text up here and we are parsing it into objects in this format and then we are again specifying json to be the parsed value in this format good and let me just go back here and that's it and what we are gonna do later on is i will just log this json details and else what i will say is else just say some error occurred log some error occur. okay let me say it an alert alert would be much more better so some error occurred good okay now what we are actually going to do is call this function so get data and I have called it and you see the data is here okay so you can see the data is here and we have some base clouds and all this data it's same as this format because this is also JSON parts and this is also JSON parts and you can access easily I will show you everything in this video only so don't worry about that and now let me just close this but just remember that if we have any error up here so let me just change the name of a location let me say something randomly and it should throw an error and you say some error occurred so there is an error and yes it's not loaded so we have some error now i have again made it london and you see we got the data now we actually need to work with the data and how it has to come into our browser i mean into this wide view how we have to get the data into html so that's everything we need to do now and we will later on add this uh, search bar functionality also so that it's awesome right so let me go back again here and let me just remove this console log good right and let me just rename it into a little better variable so let me say it is data and i will just change here also to data and here also to data good enough yes and let me just format it once okay so it should be prettier okay fine and then we i just remove the console logs and everything and now we actually need to get the data up here so to get all these we need to create some elements here right we actually need to create some elements to get the data and what we actually need to do is we need to get the data and make the text of that particular element equal to the data which we got from here so actually first of all let's create some elements right so first of all let me create something called a content div because i will be adding the search bar topmost right so search bar should not mix up with the other content which is which i am getting from the data which i am getting as data from the http request right that should not happen so i'm saying dev dot content that's good we made it dev dot content and then this we are gonna have everything we need so first of all i'll be making dev dot card this will be a normal card and it will be location also so we are getting car and we are getting location so i'm creating two classes you see here one with car and one with location car will be a common card common between everything so if i show you something here by searching london okay great so this is one card the location is one card and then we have coordinates one card weather one card and like this so this is card location and in this location card we are gonna have the data 
this data right so that's what we are going to have so first of all we will have an h1 h1 called as location and then we will be having some piece piece let me say like p hashtag p id with city name the name of the city and then we will be having just leave them empty because we are going to add the text content from the javascript not from html right so then we have the p with hashtag it should be like a country yes the country name which is here and this is the country name and then we have time zone so it became capital p let me make it small okay great and then we want another one which is time zone exactly so time zone great yes great we are done with our first card we are done with our first card then let's make the second card let me leave some spaces so that it looks a little better then we have div dot cards card back again then again we have dot co odds chord means coordinates that's it and then we have a div class code because i am a little lazy and i will select all the elements within this div with a single div that's why i am creating again another div in this div so you will understand it when i am uh, extracting these elements in the javascript then you will have a better understanding of this okay then we have h1 coordinates h1 is co let me copy this just let me just copy this and paste it i'm oh, sorry for this let me just copy this up and then paste it here and that's it we have coordinates and then we actually need to get this uh, two piece we actually need to two paragraph which is paragraph times two and it creates two paragraph elements for us and after that we need to create some more cards but before that let's have a look what's happening okay so we have location coordinates and these are empty so they are not coming at all then we have something called uh, weather yes so we again need to create another div with dot card so let me just create all the divs and then so now i have copied the all of the content div from my source code and let me explain you so first of all i have changed the position of this card i just reversed their position so that's it and we have already made this and this one also then i have added the ids to this one will be weather type weather disk and one image which will be this one if it is not loaded we will give an alt text which is not loaded and then we have temperature card in which we have temperature this all these so we have six piece one two three four five six so exactly six that's fine then we have this one and these wind cards and that's it that's what we're gonna have so let me show you it so it's here so currently the image is not loaded so it's showing us the alt text which is not loaded now we actually need to work with javascript and again i need to copy all the elements up here so again we need to do that so let me just copy it from the source so that no time is wasted so let me just copy all this from here so yes great and then to my original script and check and paste everything and that's fine I have uh, get all those like I mean what I mean by that all these elements the text in which we have to fill the data right so first of all I got the city name country time zone and here as I explained the chord part here in this chord we need to get both of these piece so what I did is I just said document at query selector chord. Uh, select the chord div, and in the in and in that chord div, select all the elements p, all the paragraph elements in that. So I just created a single variable and got else. What I have to do? I have to select this one p and then another p with giving a particular id. So that's time based. So I'm not doing that. Then we got this weather type, weather disk, temp, and again the same thing with temperature. That p six piece so i am taking all the piece from a single line of code then visibility then query selector all p again back then and i'm getting this image also so that's great now what do we actually need to do is 
this is our actual code where I have just copied that I just mistakenly showed you all the source code but no problem we have to again copy something which will take a long process if I type it so let me just copy it first of all then I will show you everything okay so let me just copy this control C and then just paste it here paste now let me make the screen bigger and show you everything perfectly so what happened here we got the data this dot response text and then and I have already JSON parsed it within a single line of code previously I have just done it twice using JSON dot parse with two variables so two lines of code now this is single line of code that's it then we took all those variables and I added some text here and then the data which we are getting from the API so what is happening here data dot name what is it how do I know that it is data dot name so let me explain you so let me go to the browser and here okay so we have all this is data the complete object or you can say array is the data so how we specify that it is data because we have declared a variable if you say that it is information then you can say information dot name or info dot name it's your choice I have declared it as data so it is data dot name data dot sys dot country now how sys dot country so let me show you how you have to know that so I, I, I have to find for country name here so it's in the bottom so where is it okay here so from this data I have to go to dot sys dot sys okay so dot sys and in this dot sys I have to go to the dot country so that gives me GB here and similarly if I have to take this temp I will do data dot main dot temp so it should be here yes so we have data dot sys dot country data dot time zone with time zone and in those variables I have added dot text content equals to this but what if I add here plus equals so what happens is if I add so the data will add it keep on adding so for example if I'm adding Delhi first of all so it is giving me some data and after that if I add London it will give me that data along with it that's the fault if I add plus equals so that's common YouTube will be knowing and here what happens with this link whether IMG dot source so why am I having a link here so this is dot source just take a look this is not text content this is source and we are adding the source here in this image in here okay so we are adding the source up here and I got this link from the API doc so let me just show you those docs I will go to here and then I go just make it big and then we have I'll go to API then here in the API doc section you will have all the information regarding so I have something like this is the example how to you how you need to get data and by CTID you can even get the data and uh, you can make the API call in different ways it's your choice and then I this is by zip code and I saw the image section also somewhere here only let me just have a look So this is city dot sunrise and all this I saw it somewhere let me just have a look on it okay so let me just search it with this link okay so let me just say control F and paste it here so that oh it's nowhere so it should be somewhere or it should it may be in some other folder I, I got it while making this project but now I'm unable to find it so it should be somewhere I don't know let me search for IMG no matches and if I say icon okay so here it is it's the API response example it's not that so let me just explain you I'm not able to find it so let me just close this data and here how are we actually getting the data <laughs> you see that in our project I already got the data because of some like this because we added them and here KTC is not defined and let me explain you why KTC is not defined here so I will show you that don't worry about that but here you see the data is loaded here now what we actually need to do is here you see 
http openweather.org.imgwin i will add this link to bottom don't worry about that so we have this link and in here in in this place we have to get the name of the image which we are getting from the data only and 2x means the size of the image so let me show you where i'm getting the image so it should be somewhere here icon 04d so i'm get, i'm extracting the 04d up here so it's from data you go to the weather and from that weather array take the first element which is dot icon and why first element there so we are going to weather okay and till here it's first array till here it's first array and after that we have something called base stations which is not needed for our project this is the first element and then we have the second element so in the first element which is specified by array uh, for zero element because indexes are zeros you already know that so we are extracting this from here good and now actually why the error has loaded something like ktc why ktc is not loaded ktc is full form is kelvin to celsius i have to convert it from kelvin to celsius because the data coming is in kelvin format i have to change it to celsius so it's just a thing of formula so we can just work with it so let me just make it small back again and here so what i actually need to do is go to my js file and then define a function called ktc because i have already called the function up here let me show you here which have whatever the data is uh, in kelvin i have changed them using this particular function ktc ktc and which takes a parameter of a of this info and just converts it into celsius right so let me just define the function here so we have called a function called ktc which takes a parameter which will have kelvin okay so let's say k and then we will take k equals k minus 273.15 and why is this so because the temperature if we have to convert kelvin to celsius we need to subtract it by minus 273 during my school time in 9th standard i think so so i have to subtract it with minus 273 to get its celsius value so but actually it is 273.15 right so that's it and after this what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna return i'm just returning this k dot two fixed i just want it till two digits after decimal so two fix two so it will return me after decimal two digits only not more than that so I have defined the function and now you see everything in Celsius has came up. Not everything. Why does this below parts not coming before? Because the error occurred and it stopped our loading. And hence, they were to not coming. So now we have got the complete data and everything is set. Later on, we just need to set up with the... What I mean, we, we need to set up with the uh, input element through which we can search right through which we can search for the data and get the data as a response so let's go to index.html and then what i will actually do is create the input element here so for that i will create a section tag and in the section tag what i'm actually going to create is dev dot search box like this and then we are gonna have an h1 which will be the busy weather the busy weather some random text busy weather that's cool and after this what i'm gonna have is the input element itself so input type text only then we have a placeholder here placeholder which should be enter location name location name that's it and after this we need a button and for this button i'll be using a direct link through an img tag so let me show you how so i'm having a button and in this button i'm having an img with source as a link now what's that link i don't remember so let me just have a image from google randomly so i'll just say search icon transparent that's it so I, I i can just take any one of them i'll go to images section then i will just go for this one let's say or even just i can get 
the link from here this image I have to get so let's click on inspect and let me make it big and here I have the source so let me just copy this source can I copy it I don't think so let me just go to sources and then index.html and from here let me just copy this link I will give this link in the description you can copy it from there itself so let me have a look okay some error okay why is this so because I get the data within some semicolons that should not happen and this time it should load up and here's our image so let us just put this into our button I'll go to VS Code back again and in the source I'm adding here the link and then in the alt I'll say search icon itself and then here's our button and later on we can just uh, style it so don't worry about that and after this what are we actually gonna do I don't know so let's just go to JS and here what we are gonna do we just need that input text and everything and let's go let me just okay so what we actually need to do is get these elements which is the search button and search box which you define in the index.html so let's get let's get them first so const search btn which will be the search button equals document dot query selector document dot query selector which is dot search box dot search box right and after this I'm just need to do dot query selector and from this search box I need to get the button from this query selector I need to get the button and I got it and after this we need the search box itself in which we just getting the input up there so let me just get that const search box equals document dot query selector we are selecting this dot search box and then we are doing dot query selector not query selector and after this we are taking this input tag from it and that's it we have selected the elements now now we actually need to work with the search thing the search thing so let us do that now what actually we are doing here is we need to take the inputs value and then pass it as a parameter to the get data function so we'll be doing that okay so first of all let's do search button search button and let me just ex tell you that why i am doing this query selector search box and that is because i am lazy to add the ids to that particular button so that's the reason i'm doing that so nothing else than that add event listener okay and then we have something like on click it should work so click an arrow function we define an arrow function yeah and then let's say let the search val let the search value be equal to search box search box dot value we get the value from the input and that's it and we say if the search val is empty if it's empty just alert something and what is that enter location name in the search box maybe so let's do that enter location location name in the search box that's it and this is our alert ready and after this what we actually need to do is an else if else if why I'm using else if why not else because else takes a little bit more time than else if because it has to take all the conditions and then process it but else if directly checks it and just 
throws it out right so we, we are gonna see if search well not equals empty if it's not empty just run the function just run the function that's it now what is the function actually now first of all let me show you something here is our link here is the location name if I just make if I make the London's L too small then see what happens let me do that if not it didn't actually happen if I replace it with small L then enter okay so one minute it's due to my saved history so that's why it is happening so let me just copy this paste it again it's happening again and again so wait a minute just wait a minute so I'll go here I'll go here just cut this up and paste it and now you see the data is something like this but again the same thing is happening how to make it small but it's not happening due to because of this and if I do something like this and I don't know how to make it small it's just throwing out this thing I don't want it okay this time it may happen okay no issues no issues <laughs> I just did a very big mistake let me tell you what I just did a very big mistake even I didn't notice it. what I thought was the location here has to take only uh, in this locations part the first letter should be capital but it's not so i just have a had a look on that in private window you you do saw that that if it was small l also then two we are getting the data but i thought that if it's so it's not happening so i have already added a bit of code for that um, just let me show you what i did so in this js source what i did is okay you can see here what I did I just spread that search well uh, each letter has to be split up and just the first uh, the first letter should be made to uppercase and then again join the text and then pass the data so it's not actually that we need not do that you can even add them in capital I think so we will test that don't worry about that so just run the function with search well now what to do actually now what should we do actually let me tell you so here we need to take the parameter location let's say and then this loc should be equals to this location right and then this url should have this loc in place of here that's very common thing right you too may be knowing that so let me add this dollar sign the curly brackets and then this let's let me just paste loc that's it now some error here i don't know what it is actually some error occurred and if i just refresh it okay some error occurred again and again why yes yes i understood it because i have already called the function i have to remove it and now it should work fine great now let me show you the functionality if i type london and if I click on the search biggest search bar ever you get the data if I say Delhi if I say Delhi and if I click on this we see Delhi's information so now if I say everything in caps lock what happens let me just test it I even I don't know so it's still written no error so let me change it back to London and see whether if it's working or not yes it's still working so no problem with that we can even have capital and um, it's your choice i didn't recognize it i just assume it on my own sorry for that mistake so let's just style everything right now but before we style we need to and uh, change it to enter functionality also we have to add the enter functionality also if i add the text and then say enter then it should again give me the data right it should again give me the data so what i'm actually going to do is let me show you here so here what i'm actually going to do is the same thing but this time i'm going, uh, adding an event listener to the search box right so dot add event listener 
on key press this time not on click on key press on key press run an arrow function let me show you run an arrow function and here we need to just specify some properties of the enter key so what it should be if the e we have to take some parameters here so i am taking e here not here here okay now if e dot which which takes the key codes of that particular key so i'm just saying 13 if it's 13 that is for enter so what you actually need to do the same thing which is this thing right just copy this up and paste it here and now it should also work with the enter i don't know whether it will work or not and it's working yes that's good because we did it we did everything we thought just the thing is the styling part let's do that okay so let me just refresh everything back again and let me just close the source the script.js and everything I think we may have some work with the script.js so first of all let me just go here and then what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna open it with what sass so what you actually need to do is go to the extensions page search for watch sass and just let me here live sas compiler just install this which is from red d and you can just use this in your vs code so what i'm actually going to do Control shift p and then live sas watch sas i'm just going to click on it and it's going to open and create some files here and i have i just need to get these files into my project so we got it this time no error wow beautiful now we actually need to style our elements and everything we need but first of all i'm just taking some font so it's from google previously i just took something else i don't know what i took so let me just go to style here it is let me just copy this i don't know which font is this so that's why i'm copying from here so it's useful because i yeah at start i told you that i let me close it but i have not closed it and this helped me a lot that's really great now let's just style it don't waste any more time so let me just finish this fastly so let's make the margin zero for all the elements padding to be zero and then we just want to say box sizing border box that's it and after this we are just giving some random text which we just got it from this which maybe i think it's ubuntu but i'm not sure about it let's just check it by just saying font family font family then i'm just gonna say ubuntu i think i got ubuntu only but i don't actually remember then let's say just some random fonts which are pre-installed in my vs core and let me just check so i think these are this is the text yes this is the exact text it's ubuntu only and now let's style furthermore and then we have our something called body right we have something called body and we have to definitely style it that's very important so let's say some background some linear gradient background which should be two top some rgb values let's add something randomly some rgb which should be 82 comma 82 we can even add them variables but it's time is because i'm not gonna change anything up here then from this blue to i want you to go white so this time this is the color which i want but it should be exactly this way and yeah that's it if i do something like this it's gonna change and everything okay fine now we actually need to make it responsive so let me just close this up and make it small so that i need not waste time again and again in this and after this we have some background position center which is not actually needed but okay that said we don't need that background center and everything up here right now because our data is large and let me show you what i did previously in my project if i remove all this content ok 
okay let me just tell you something okay, I commented it and you see that the body has changed but I, I don't want this if my content is not there so let's change it so I'm going to style that CSS back again and what I'm actually doing is I will just make the background position to center background position oh, sorry not like this background position to center and then I want background repeat to no repeat doesn't repeat my background don't ever repeat it I'm gonna kill you okay don't ever repeat it so and after that I'm gonna say Oh, what did I said just now? I will kill you. No, not you. I will kill this. <laughs> I mean, I will kill this project if I'm gonna add background repeat to repeats and also. And I'm adding some minimum height to view, uh, 100 view heights because if I don't add, it should be just the small size, which is of the size of the icon. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push all these elements to side. And, and that time it will become small but when they will come it will become large so I don't want that to happen and so that's that's why I've done this and then some basic styling display flex and then just by content to the center make it center and then the align items to the center and then we need something like flex direction which is which should be column I want them to be straight aligned in a column not in a row by default flex is row so I have just made and an overflow of x because i don't want anything to scroll side by side so overflow x to be hit just simply and then we we actually need to style this search box so dot search box good dot search box and after this what you actually need to do give it some width which should be 60 view around 60 viewer then some position to be fixed because they are not gonna actually change I'm gonna make it up and down just like this let me show you if I refresh it if I add some location and then click on enter you see it will go up that's what I want to do so I will do that so position fixed and from top it should be 50% and from left also it should be 50% but just see what happens when I do that it goes more than half so how, how do i correct it so i'll say transform translate negative 50 percent comma negative 50 percent what this actually does is it just uh, it brings it a little back from around half of it which it has gone front that much it will come back again and this thing happens then we just need to add some transition so that when it goes up it should just work super awesome so i'm just adding 0.5 seconds to it and after that i have z index to b 100 and then we have the h1 styling this is what sas is mainly used for if i'm working with css i have to um, just mention it again dot search box then space then h1 again curly braces another i don't i'm lazy and i'm not gonna do that again and again so i'm using sas for it so i'll just say transform and then translate y a little up which should be negative to view heights so it goes a little up right and after that what we actually need to do is make its position static so that it should not change again and again and its width should also be to 60 viewer because i want to make it center so that it should be better and easily centered so i will say text align center now you will easily get center great great then now to all the elements under this search box to all the elements under this search box i want the position to be absolute because i just want I, i'm gonna keep them changing again and again so they are all above each other right great then we need to style the input So in the input, I need to say text align center. Sorry, not center. I mean, I think it should be right to make it much better. Text align to the right, and then we have something different. Also, text align to the right. Height should be three rems. 
and then which should be 60 viewer 60 viewer where should be 60 viewer then then some basic padding some basic padding which should be around 5 pixels and 10 pixels great and after this I, I'm just having some border radius border radius border radius should be 30 pixels around that so it should be fine I don't think so yeah we can later on change if anything goes wrong we can say none outline to be none and then we can add some basic border let's say two pixels solid some rgba and i will just add black point comma 0 0.5 now let me save it and yeah it's styled a bit better and after this after this border we just need to add a border bottom to make it white but actually i don't think it's needed that so enter location name because i mistakenly clicked on that search icon so that's why it's and when we hover on it and when we hover on it what actually happens is i want a box shadow onto it so it should be zero pixels space zero pixels space five pixels and then we have zero pixels back again and i just need i need to specify the color rgba which should be back again 0 comma 0 comma 0 point seven five and this time yeah it's hoverable it's not hovering because of this image it's coming in front of it i will show you later on don't worry about this and after this we need to specify the button styling and in this button styling i have to go with height three rem same as the input element and which should also be three times because it has having some images and to adjust them perfectly we need to work with it guys so just say border let me just copy this paste it here and then what i actually need to do is just make the same thing some of the same things so let's say outline to be none then border radius to 50 this is a bit different because it is a small but not very heavy large input box right and then i'm just saying display to be flex and then justify to be center so that the image is to the center of the button and no here and there right and just say background to be by this time the button should be just working here it is here but well, the image is not actually centered perfectly but before we work on the hovering just let's say work with the image so height should be one ram and then the width should also be one ram and this time you see it's perfectly sized and let's have the hover effect to this guy also so i'll say hover and here i can just do this thing let me just copy it i copied it paste it save now it's also hoverable this input element is also hoverable looks good nice now what i want to do is when i uh, click on or just on search when i i just search and hit enter or click on the search again it should go up right so let me just do that for that what i actually need to do is just do just create a new class and add it to a javascript right so i'll just create uh, something like on search and on search what happens it, it goes to top four view heights from top it should be four view heights and from left it should be 50 percent and the same thing back again that is translate transform that translate x we have to again bring it back to a little but this time we don't need to bring it back from the y axis so i'll just using 50 percent for translate x and that's good now we actually need to add this up right we actually need to add this up from the javascript so let's do that now how do we actually do that let me tell you 
So what we are going to do is when this happens, when this thing is working fine, then only this should go up. If an error is occurred, then just don't do anything like that. So I'm just selecting the elements directly without creating, creating any variable. I'm using document.query selector, query selector, select the dot search box, search box, and from it, I mean dot search box, and from the search box, add a class list to it add a class and from class list just add something called on search on search and later on we, 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 ha we also need to add one class to the content um, but now it's not so so enter the location name London and enter and now you see it went up now we actually need to do edit this into these white boxes and just bring them from the side that's what we actually need to do so we will be doing something similar to this again later on but before that let's style the content guys let's style the content okay so first of all what i'm gonna do is go get the dot content which is our dev name and then just give it some width of 100 view width and then this display to flex let me just type everything fast because the video is going longer and longer so then just click on its center and then align items align item should also be at the center and then we actually need what the flex directions to be column and then what we need we need the position to be static i think yes yeah, static would be perfect and then we say march and right should be around 200 view widths why i will tell you because they have to come from the left side to right so initially i'm giving them to 200 view widths so why so because when this loads up then comes so it is a little far 200 view widths right guys so let's add transition back to it transition 0 0.5 seconds the same timing which i gave to this the busy with the text and the heading and then from this content i am selecting all the cards and in these cards i have to add some styling so first of all make their background white bro and first of all what i'm gonna do is just recommend this out so that it is visible and if i say london and this is something like this then we need to further style it so background and then border radius a bit of border radius which should be 15 15 pixels then we have its width to be 80 view width the width of each card and then we have some margin for each card one ram and then we have some padding one ram and and after this padding of one ram we need to add the box shadow to these guys also which is also same thing which we added above so let me just copy this up go down and paste it here and that's it now we have styled them beautifully but did you observe something that it is going up behind us initially but i don't want that i need some margin up here so let's apply a simple and easy method to it so i will create a div dot fake element at the top a fake element so let me just go here and behind after this so div dot fake element i'm ju I, I just need to give some basic height to it so nothing in it just basic element the fake element and what we actually need to do after this just a bit of styling just giving just giving it some height which is the height of the search bar so that the data which comes after this search box not behind it not at its back so that's what i want to tell you and what i'm actually going to do is dot fake element select it and then dot fake element in this dot fake element i'm gonna say heights of 15 view heights and that's it now if i add some data say london 
you see there is some gap that's what I want to do and now we are going to do something else also so we style the cards also now they don't have any hover effect we need to add a hover effect and to have a nice hover effect we need to add transition so let's add the transition first let's say 0 0.2 seconds and 0 0.2 seconds and let's give it an hover effect so let's say and and then hover and then transform Tran not translate let's say scale scale of 1.1 if you say one it's not gonna zoom in or zoom out but if i say something like this you're gonna see this effect this cool effect and you see this this black thing i am just gonna make its background black dark because you can see that this cloud is not clearly visible and to make it clearly visible i have to change something in the dot weather in what in the dot weather so let's select that dot weather which we made that's why i may i specify two class names for each of the elements so so that i may easily select it so what i'm going to do dot weather's image and in this page i'm saying the padding should be zero i don't want any padding it's initially zero only so we need not specify it and then I'm giving it some background which should be what RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0.1 so no directly one so that's dark and its opacity is one I can even say this also no need to write this and this time you see it's something like this but why so because i have not fetched the data right now and you see this and to make it a little more beautiful i'm just adding the border radius border radius of 50 percent and it's done london great it look it's looking great now what is the last thing we need to do guys what is that last thing can you guess or remember <laughs> i just said that we have to bring them from left to right so we need to add an extra class so dot on content dot on on content what do we actually need to do just make its margin right zero that's the thing we need to do and now this margin right should be 200 few widths so I don't have them initially good and I'm gonna script .js as I said you before that we are gonna do the same thing back again so I'm just doing this 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 paste again and on content on what on content and not search box this time we want dot content up here what actually dot content spellings are very hard to type my hands are getting painted so almost our project is complete and that's it now i think that they are completely responsive for now no mobile responsivity no media queries are needed at all i think so but let's have a look let me go to inspect element and then let me make it small so actually i don't need anything i don't need to add any media queries it's super awesome i don't need to work a lot for it it's just directly styled using only what do we say that only no media queries so without media queries we have made it completely responsive and completely awesome super awesome just comment if you don't like it also comment if you like it just give me more suggestions for new videos and new projects i will make them for you 
I am too interested in making projects and improving my skills just like you guys but whenever I get a new project I just share with you guys which gives me a lot of happiness so guys let's end and this up right here and just okay that's it that's the complete i think it's completely same it's completely same and no more issues are found in this if you find any issue just comment them below if you have any queries if something is not working in your computer just contact me and don't forget to check the description guys because all the luxurious treasure in that description only because we have the links because we have something called the basic info for every video so just okay that's it so i hope you guys like this video and got to learn something new from it that's it for this video and make sure to subscribe because it will help me to boost you and your skills the end